Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Nerd Herders. My name is Nick. I'm Rich. I'm Dana. And today, it's another 20 questions yep. day. The uh, game show that's sweeping the nation. Mm -hmm. It is. Maybe not our version, but someone's <laughs> nation. A lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of this going around. Yeah. Um, so if you've never if you've never uh, watched our 20 questions, what are you doing with your life? But the way that it works is each week one of us picks a movie. The other two don't know what it is, and they have 20 questions to guess that movie. All yes or no questions. Um, so that's pretty much it, right? I like yeah. how you added in that we don't know the movie. Because, I mean, that's a little... Not necessary. You know that we don't know the movie, or else it wouldn't really be a game. A couple other rules. We can't guess the movie <laughs> before... By the 20th question, we have to guess the movie. And if we guess it before the 20th question... And we get it wrong, the game is... Over. Yes, very yes. true, very true. So we can't just right, sit here so and go, is it this movie, is it that No, movie? no, no. If you guess the movie, it's done. Alright, so, I chose this week's movie. Okay. And you may begin. Alright. Um, was this movie released before January 1st, 2000? Mm. Yes. Shit. So it's... So it's not in the last <laughs> 16 years. I see, I see. Was this movie released before January 1st, 1990? Yes. Why did he have a smirk on his face? He finds this funny. Of course he does. Something's interesting about this. <laughs> Alright, go on. Would he pick a Disney Channel original movie like you did? Oh, you think he would? I don't know. I don't think would he would. Were Disney Channel movies before the 90s? There was actually something he just sent me saying that... Um, Coming up in May, I believe, uh, Disney Channel is going to have a four-day marathon of yeah. all Disney Channel that movies. Didn't, that didn't answer my question, you did. I mean, I'm just saying that it's coming up in his head, so maybe he could have. Okay, was this movie released I don't know. Uh, prior to January 1st, 19... Wait, wait, no, no! What are you doing? I'm keeping it... we got to narrow down the year. Okay, but you're doing within the time frame that you know? Yeah. Okay. I was just wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if you were going to say 1980 and then it was just going to be all messed up. I was going to say before 1980, so then but we'll know if it was between 1980 and 1990. But I thought we knew that. <laughs> what were our two questions? We know that it was released... We're off to a great start. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Um, we know that it was released before 1990. Oh, before 1990? Yes. So now I, thought we, it, I thought it was in between. I thought it was 1990. No, I asked before 2000. Before 2000, he said no. Yes. Is and then he I asked correct? before 1990, he said yes. Is he correct? <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Go on. I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. Okay. I'm going to have Back to my Kermit question. sit in for me. Dana's gone. Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> so was this movie released before January 1st, 1980? No. Okay. So we know it was an 80s movie. <laughs> okay. Is this movie live action? Yes. Okay. Okay. It's a live action 80s movie. Um, was this movie considered part of the Brat Pack movies? No. Okay. Interesting. I don't know what those are. Sixteen Candles, Breakfast Club, Pretty in Pink, Sound was Fire, Weird Science. I see. But it doesn't matter because it's not one of those. Yeah, I was finding I was ruling those out because right. those were those were big eighties movies. Got it. So it's an obscure one. N no. <laughs> <laughs> Every eighties movie that was <laughs> other than those five right. movies <laughs> are obscure. <It's> obscure. <laughs> um, we can narrow down the genre. Okay. Do they have Academy Awards then? <laughs> they didn't have Academy Awards. <laughs> what was this year? Kid, like the the. 79, 31st, yeah. or something. Okay. They've had a lot, they've had almost 100 years of Academy Awards. Wow. So it could be. So we guess. Be award um, was this movie <laughs> nominated for an Academy Award? Yes. Okay. Ding, ding, ding. That's six. That should be a point for Dana. <laughs> <laughs> and Kirby. <laughs> Did this movie win any Academy Awards? Mm. Yes. It did, but okay, we so now we don't Academy know. Academy Award winning. 80s movie, 80s not movie. a brat pack. Probably not a comedy then. No. Drama, maybe. 
no idea. Um, you can ask if it won one of the top Academy That was Awards. what I was thinking. So did this movie won, win any of the big Academy Awards? Like the big five or big six? And you know what Clarify to the audience. So, best picture, best actor, actress, director... Um, no. Okay. So it still could have won supporting. Yeah. Um, Live action. Real people. Yeah. You don't know if it's a male or female lead. That's true. Probably a male lead. What did this movie have a male lead? Yes. Okay. That's what I figured. So it was an Academy Award winning. What are we at? Nine? Wow. It's about halfway there. I know. Do you I have any ideas? Anything. <laughs> no. We need to find out who's in it. Mm -hmm. That would probably help us a lot. That would help. Um, Is the Ocean's Eleven question applicable? Or not really because maybe those people didn't do much then? I'm not really sure on the time frame of these people's lives. Any help? No. <laughs> He's not no. going to give us any help. I'm just seeing if he'll um, slip up. <laughs> I'm trying to think of anybody whose career would have been going on during that time. Okay. Carl Reiner's, but I don't think anything he did would have been an Academy Award nominated and winning movie. Um, which that look, you never know. Shots fired at I mean, Carl Reiner. I love the stuff he did, but <laughs> Who is he? I don't see the jerk getting any. He directed the jerk and. Oh. He was big with Mel Brooks and. Mel Brooks. Nine questions. We're at nine questions. Um, Three days. What? Is that not a movie? <laughs> <laughs> That's a show, isn't it? That's a show. <laughs> All right. Um, what else? I have no idea where to go. All right, is this movie a drama? It would not be considered. Would you consider this? Nobody movie? would first call it that. Okay. What is that supposed to mean? Well, there are comedies that have sad moments, but nobody yeah. call it. It has dramatic moments, so nobody would call it. So is it a comedy then? I'm not asking you that. I didn't want you to write it down. <laughs> is it a comedy then that has some serious parts? You could ask. You could, is, is, would this movie be first considered a comedy? So why did he say that? No, he's just giving an example. That well, certain you need to clarify that. I got. It. <laughs> some, some cheating going on over here. What? <laughs> Whatever. We don't need you. Okay, Figure so it's it not out. a drama. And it's not a comedy. It could be just like a thriller or something. Uh, see, it's it's the, not one of the big ones. So it could be like an effects movie. It could be like a sci-fi movie, and I don't know what. Well, we could ask something like that, couldn't we? Yeah. Because we asked if it was a male lead, not if it was... Um, so it rules out, like, Aliens, which I don't think would have been nominated, but I could, could have seen it getting, like, a... Which I don't think it did. Something like that. Um, Ghostbusters? Mm -hmm. I don't know when that was. Is, okay, is this movie part of a series? That rules like Ghostbusters. <laughs> which I don't. I'm 99% mm. sure that never won or was nominated for. Um, Ghostbusters was nominated for Oscars. I'm sure. I think the song was. Was it really? Yeah. And I'm pretty sure visual. I think maybe it won some sort of effects thing. Well, that's. I'm pretty sure the song was, though. Rules that Empire. <clears throat> well. Or would would this movie be considered a science fiction film? Yes. Sci -fi. Okay. So it's a sci fi movie with a male lead. Thirteen. In the eighties. In the eighties. Nominated. Mm hmm. But did not win one of the big ones. Not yeah. just nominated, it won, but it didn't win a big one. It was nominated and won for something. Yeah. Oh. It's not part of a series. Yeah. 
I don't remember that happening. That's I asked. <laughs> right? There's no wasn't that I asked that. If it, I want, asked if it won something, and I asked if it won one of the big ones. No, you asked if it was nominated, and then you asked if it won one of the big ones. I thought I asked both. Correct. You have the questions. What do you mean? I don't write down your what you asked me. But you remember. Uh, I remember answering the questions truthfully. <laughs> Such you a can check the tape. Oh I remember it the way Dana is saying. Okay. So we don't know. So we don't know if it actually won. Um, but I think we're getting too hung up on that. The we, Oscars? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's a science fiction movie. From the 80s. Well, just name them off. What were they? <laughs> just name every <laughs> sci-fi movie. Um, I mean, it has to be a standalone, so it can't yeah. be part of a series. Star Wars, Alien, Ghostbusters are all out. Okay. Um, brighter in here. <laughs> Any ideas, Dana? I have no ideas. No ideas to help me, help me here. You gotta be listing some you movies. You still got seven questions. You I know. Could, you could ask some questions to narrow it down. But so we I need want, to figure I, out who's in it. I want to ask the memorabilia question, but I don't see any really 80s memorabilia Yeah. in it. Um, maybe we can try to narrow down director. Um, Is that a popular one in the 80s? And there's lots of... It's a whole decade, Dana. There's lots of... So when directors direct, do they normally always direct the, the same genre of movie? You know, I can see this being like a Spielberg sci-fi movie or something. Should we ask that? That's what I'm thinking. Um... Did Steven Spielberg direct this? Yes. Okay. He did. Okay. We were on to something. So it's a Spielberg movie from okay. the 80s that's e a sci-fi. Is that Steven Spielberg? Is I'm there, not asking you. Is Drew Barrymore <laughs> in this movie? Yes. Richard, did I get it? Oh my gosh! Does the quote phone home come from this movie? <laughs> Yes. Do you want to ask him? Ah, yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, so go ahead and ask him. I'm going to ask him, is the movie E.T.? Ask him if the movie is E.T. the Extraterrestrial. Is the movie E.T. the Extraterrestrial? Yes. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> oh my goodness! That's a miracle! <laughs> Have you seen it? No! <laughs> I know all about it. <laughs> and the funny thing is we were just talking about E.T. at work today. Wow. Alright, there you go. Good job. E.T. Fair and square. Yep. So I wanted to make sure she's an extraterrestrial. I didn't want you to be like, when I said Captain America, <laughs> and you were like, the Captain America what? <laughs> Alright, good job, guys. How exciting. And Wait. that is how it was. Now, what did, it, did it win anything? Yes, it won four awards. What? I, I need think. to know. <laughs> All right. To clarify, it was, it was nominated for nine, and it won Best Original Score, Best Sound, Best Sound Effects Editing, and Best Visual Effects. And an interesting fact while we're on the topic, it lost okay. Best Picture to Gandhi, but apparently that film's director, Richard Attenborough, said, declared, I don't know if it was during his speech or whatever, I was certain that not only would E.T. win, but that it should win. It was inventive, powerful, and wonderful. Interesting. So even the filmmaker of the winning film thought E.T. should have one. Cool? Impressive. Most impressive. So that's how we play 20 questions. Yep. We'll be back next week again when I'll you're have a, in the movie. I'll right? have a movie. Alright. How See exciting! <laughs> Alright, that's going to do it. Thank you for watching. You can find us all sorts of places. Yep. You can even suggest movies to us. Mm -hmm. Again, next week you're picking, so it would be a good viewer yep. viewer pick week. Yeah, so you can um, find me on Twitter. I'm at Rich Belson. I'm at Stonks. 
I'm at Dana Explains. Um, you can email us your suggestions or questions or whatever at overbeerfishel at gmail.com. Nick does not check the email. I do, so he won't see it. He might see if you tweet at me a movie, so maybe that's not the best way to do it. Um, you can also find us on Facebook, facebook.com slash overbeer. Um, we're on Instagram, over underscore a underscore beer. Um, am I forgetting one? Is there... We have so we have there's so much social media stuff. Oh, we are on YouTube, of course, but I forgot it because we don't have a link mm. yet for you, a okay. URL. So, um, if you like these videos, share and subscribe. Guess that'll wrap things up for today. Yeah, cool. Yeah. So until next time, we'll see you guys later. Good job. Bye.